I've completed 100 SBCs for this. That's right, the Centurion's Upgrade SBC Chase is uh, finally nearly done. We've done 99 out of 100 of these SBCs, and today we're going to finish it off. As a result, we will get an Ultimate Pack and a Premium Gold Players Pack. And who knows, we might pack a Fantasy Foot card as well. Before doing the last SBC, we do have a lot of 80 plus rare gold players here because I've been grinding them out. So we're going to open these and see if we get anything. So give me some luck in this pack opening. Please hit a like on this video. The more likes we get on the video, the more likely we are going to get something. Allegedly. First pack here is at least a board. That's good. Okay, striker. Is that Schick? It's Schick. 85 rated. Not bad. A couple of packs later, we do get ourselves a walkout. Cameroon centre back Kula Bali. Very nice. 87 rated Kula Bali. We need that fodder. I don't really know what we need that fodder for per se, but we need it nonetheless. What I'm loving about this is even the bad cards aren't like duplicates because I've done so many SPCs. I literally don't have a card under 84 rated in the club. A board here. A couple of packs later, we've got Croatian centre midfielder. It is Kovacic. Okay, we'll take an 84. Okay, another board here. We've had some duff ones before this. We get a board. Centre mid, 83 Marino. Another board straight after that as well. Dutch centre forward. It's Depay. I swear Depay was a special card recently. We take an 85 though. And the final pack here is a board. It is going to be Schmeichel. Not too bad. 83 rated. Overall, those packs were actually very decent. When you look at what we've actually just got in those packs, it's really not not that bad at all we only got two 80 rated cards that is very decent and then here's the rest on this page as well nice i don't know if i've just lived under a rock but when did alex moreno join aston villa before we complete our final sbc i've got a public service announcement you need to do your preview packs you never know what you might get you might get a a, a, a non-reg gold let uh, right okay yeah great i actually have another account that's connected to the app on my phone and I open the free, you know, preview pack every day. And I've actually managed to build up 160,000 coins just from getting packs that are better than 7.5k. Getting the pack in, trading out the players. It's, it's actually, you know, reasonably good thing to do is make sure you get your free pack every day. Here we go then. This is the last 80 plus upgrade I am ever going to do on this account. Uh, we managed to complete it. We've also managed to complete the whole of the objective and we get two extra packs. So 100 completions gets you an ultimate pack, but then also I will have completed the whole group of objectives, which is going to get us a premium gold players pack. The real question is, was this worth it? You've got, oh my god, what, 12 golds, 3 rares? How is that worth doing all of those SBCs? At least the ultimate pack has all players, all gold, all rare, and one 84 plus overall guaranteed. We'll start with the 100th 80 plus rare gold player pack. It is not even a ball. I thought they'd give us something special for the 100th one. We'll do the premium gold players pack next, and then we'll end on the big one. This one isn't even a board either. Right, everything falls on the ultimate pack now. Here we are, ultimate pack, 30 players, all gold, all rare, at least 184 plus. <laughs> Why is it bad? It's Busquets. That is so awful. 285s, 383s, a couple of 82s. Oh, it is bad. It is such a bad pack. And because I have a pretty unhealthy addiction at this point, we've got a one of three player pick for 82 plus rated players. Here we go then. One of three 82 plus rated rare gold players. What's it going to be? Oh, it just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. Now, when I say I now have nothing in my club, I mean I have nothing in my club. So honestly, the only thing I can do is, is go and actually play the game. Which I know is the most ridiculous thing for any FIFA YouTuber to say. But we're actually going to have to play some matches. This is the team as it stands right now. We've really enjoyed this awesome end card. We've really enjoyed Raspadori as well. We've particularly enjoyed playing with uh, Locatelli recently. Five assists in three games. I'm just doing one last check just to see if there's anything interesting we can pick up from objectives. Unfortunately, there's just not really. It's a little bit dead at the moment. I, I do need to get this Lundstrom card. I did a lot of the objectives already, but I'd have to play another 15 games. And frankly, I've 
got better things to do like play career mode <laughs> right we're going to try and secure our weekly rewards for division rivals we're jumping in with our normal team let's see how we do here is our first opponent of the day then cassie ass in goal a decent back line a nice midfield and an all right strike force you know okay we are in div four we're expecting good teams at this point here's raspadori down the right hand side can he find anyone tries to cut it back van dyke gets it raspadori gets in great positions but it's the same problem that i have with career mode I just never have any players keeping up with him to get in the box for like the, the drawback or whatever. Raspadori from the corner. I went a little bit quiet there. I'm not going to lie. I was daydreaming. Raspadori gets the first goal in this game. I see a run from Brolin. That was brilliant from Brolin. My God. Mount find, found him. But Brolin's run was incredible. Osman here finds himself edge of the box. Osman, what a save, Cassias. Oh, awesome ends there. Oh, every corner, man. I do win every header from a corner, but I just don't ever position it correctly in the goal. I really don't want him to get a goal back here. Thank you, Spinozola. No, is he not offside there? Surely, surely. Thank you very much, Carvajal. Carvajal? It was Carvalho, you muppet. Literally never used Carvajal in this game. <laughs> Mason Mount here. Can he finish it? It's a good save from the keeper. Drops very nicely for Raspadori. 3-0 in the first 30 minutes. Not too bad at all. Oh, lovely ball through. It's Osimhen. Osimhen strikes it, saved by Cassias. If he didn't have Cassias in goal, I'm like 7 up by this point. And no, I don't want to talk about teams that win 7-0, thanks. Here comes Marlon. Puts the ball inside to Bruno Gimenez. It's a good save from Pope. We managed to clear it up. Kante through to Mason Mount. Into Osimhen. Osimhen through to Brolin. Oh, that was, that was just amazing. That was an amazing goal. We're managing to get 4-0 up, and surely that's the rage quit. You know what's best for you, buddy. Thank you. Two goals for Brolin, two goals for Raspadori. Our two wing cam positions sort of thing. And then you've got an assist for Mount and an assist for Osimhen. Brilliant. It's always good when all four front men are contributing. That was in Div 4 as well. Like, I thought Div 4 was when it started getting competitive. Wait. First own FC, Bateson. Is this actually Bateson? I'm going to assume not, but for the title, it may well be. I mean, we will very quickly know if this is Bateson, because he will destroy me. Um, but if it's not Bateson, then it's someone who's very, very sad indeed, and then it needs to get a severe life. That could be Bateson. Um, I'm 1-0 down already. Oh, no. No, 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 no. How would you find out who you're playing against? I want to know who I'm playing against right now. I don't understand, though, where you see it on here. Because you go into game base, it just shows your friends, parties, messages. I want to see who am I playing like... Right, I don't want to see that. Who am I playing right now? Played together? Is it Bateson? No, it's someone called Naughty Game. Okay, fine. In other words, it's just someone who's got more money than sense because they've bought Bateson's bloody badge. Which, if Bateson gets money for each purchase, then fair enough. But I'm going to assume he probably doesn't. Here's Raspadori coming into the box. Raspadori gives it back to Ossiman. We get one goal back. Right, now I know it's not Bateson. It's just a fanboy. I can take him out. Before that, I had far too much respect for the lad. What? How has Dinatale run through my whole team? Oh, Mason Mount here. Oh, he shaped up so nicely there. No. Why is Dinatale able to get through basically everything? Lovely ball through. Come on, Osimhen. Get away from this defender, please. Strikes it, say Van der Sar. Osimhen. Through to Brolin. Cut it back. Mason Mount. Come on. 2-2. Two -two. Ever since I worked out this wasn't actually Bateson, I have genuinely been on top of this game. Here we go. Osimhen's in. Osimhen. I went for the chip. I shouldn't. The front post was so open. No. Payet's in. I haven't really got anyone back. Oh, Smalling. Well played. This time running through, we've got Raspadori. What can he do? Raspadori coming forward here. I'm looking for Mount, baby. Ah, oh, I should have shot. Brolin plays it across. Mason. Mount. No. How have you missed? There's a high chance we look back on all these chances at the end of this game and we'll be very annoyed. Osman, Mason Mount again. Mason, shoot, man. Here's Raspadori. What can he do? Raspadori. Oh, I can't get it across. No. No, 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 no. Why are you able to just keep the ball in my box without me doing anything? You've not given a penalty. Oh, thank God. Here comes Locatelli. What's he got for me? Locatelli. Woohoohoo! He's got his first goal for the club, and it could be a huge one. Saying that, it's, uh, it's still the first half, actually. 
Brolin here through. Ossiman. Oh, the, the keeper gets too close to you far too quick. Carvalho, don't let Payet run past you. I swear, Payet real life, not that quick. Ossiman. Get away from your man, Ossiman. Ossiman. Oh, for God's sake. No, Payet again. Carvalho comes across. Oh, no, Brolin. No, he's got the equaliser. This guy doesn't deserve this. I have peppered his goal at times. And, yeah, he's equalised, for God's sake. I'm thinking at the moment I might sell quite a lot of my players. I've got some players sat in the club, which I probably don't use, that are tradable. So I think I might try and clear out soon. Rashford! <laughs> Oh, my days. What a goal that is. Marcus Rashford, take a bow. I'm a 30-year-old man. I shouldn't be getting that excited. But that goal was disgusting. Here's Mason Mount this time. Mason Mount. Yes, he had to get more action, didn't he? 5-3. Is that another rage quitting Div 4? It is. See you later. Rashford was on the pitch for literally three minutes. He got a goal and assist. Osman with the goal and assist. We had two goals from Mason Mount that game. We had a goal from Locatelli. That game had everything. Oof. I'm kind of enjoying myself, you know. And honestly, no word of a lie, I was considering stopping posting foot content. I just felt like I got to a point where I couldn't keep up with all the new releases in FIFA Ultimate Team. So the videos weren't really doing that well. Um, but yeah, glad I made this video because I'm genuinely enjoying myself. We did get one pack from objectives. I mean, the chance of this being good is pretty... It's a silver. Okay, yeah, great. We did end up getting this 99 loan, 88 rated for LAN. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, that's interesting. We could use it, but he's Liga Santander. If it was the Premier League version, I'd probably chuck him in. Because I'm enjoying myself so much, we'll do one more game of Div Rivals today. I actually forgot to look at the guy's team, but whatever. We'll take him on regardless. This guy's using that Wayne Rooney card that you could get from SBCs. I would have loved to have got that in the club. I should have done it back then. Can you still do it? Maybe that's something we need to aim for. Hugo Sanchez is also something you can still do. And I'm actually only one SBC away from getting him. I just need some more fodder. Oh, could be in trouble here. Hugo Sanchez. Pope saves this one. But yeah, this guy's a bit better than the last two people we played. Rooney scores. Oh, dear. Oh, dear indeed. God, Wayne Rooney in this centre four position is ruining me. He's creating so many chances for his team. Brolin saved. Come on, Osimhen. This is a free header, man. How do we not score those? Osimhen again. Get uh, Carvalho shoot. Someone shoot the ball in the blinking goal. Chris Smalling. Oh no. Mason Mount through to Osimhen. Come on, baby. This is it. Surely Osimhen goal. Nicely done, little dinky dink. Two one. Oh, oh, Mason. Go, Mason. Go. Go, Mason. Go, Mason. Go, Mason. Oh. Osman again. Right. That is the freest header you're ever going to get. Osman just hit the target. No. Hugo Sanchez. Oh, dear. I mean, we have had about five shots, I think it is, in their six-yard box with Osman, And he hasn't scored any of them. Like, what? Why? Oh, Hugo Sanchez again. Chris Smalling finally puts a bloody tackle in. Brolin has got the right side of the defender, but there's not really anyone there helping him. Osimhen again, straight at the goalkeeper. Osimhen, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, this Sanchez-Rooney combo is deadly. Every time Rooney gets the ball, he plays through Sanchez. And every time Sanchez gets the ball, he puts it in the net. I'm still fuming. I should have had like six goals from corners. Osman through to Mount, but it doesn't quite fall for him. Right, Osman, make up for all those mistakes. I hate you. <laughs> How is he so good one game and then utterly awful the next? He's got another free header. How is he not scoring these? Why are they always going straight at the goalkeeper? His heading stat must be like 10. Oh, get stuffed. If he gives him a red, I'm done. He has. Oh, get, a, get a boring game. I'm not even sure this is, is a bad t Oh, yeah. Skip the replay. Literally skip the replay. I, I pretty much got the ball, but no worries about it. St uh, but there. <laughs> How can I go from loving FIFA so much to hating it? And literally, it has been about 15 minutes. I mean, I, I think I'm at a point I should probably quit. <laughs> I've got a red card and I'm 5-1 down. 
it's probably time just to leave. But I have this thing where I don't like to quit games because I feel like you can learn stuff from any game you play. But I'm not sure what I'm going to learn from this battering. You know what? Sometimes I think it takes a bigger man to realise when they're beat. And I was very much beat there. Annoyingly, I now don't have Smalling. Like, I can't use Smalling on my team. But Benucci comes in and, and he'll do the job fine. But that's it for this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, please hit a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this FIFA. So that would be very much appreciated if you could help me with that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.